On this episode of OBD for Everyone, we are going to show you how to set up and use OBD Fusion's Enhanced Diagnostics. What are Enhanced Diagnostics? Well, Enhanced Diagnostics gives you access to the same information that the dealership mechanic can see with their expensive scanners. Let me show you. To get started, we will start OBD Fusion. Now I've got the Bluetooth LE OBD scanner already plugged in and I've got the ignition in the on position. From here we touch connect. This is the first time I've connected to this car, so OBD Fusion doesn't know which protocol to use. So it will cycle through them one at a time until it gets to the right protocol, which now it has. Now it wants us to edit the vehicle and we wanna do that. So we'll touch okay. And we're gonna change from Nissan to Infinity right there and we will touch back and we will select the model in my case here it's a g37 sedan we'll select that we'll touch back and under option we'll touch select and here we specify the engine size which is 3.7 liters and i will touch back okay now you may notice down below it says enhanced diagnostics available and then in blue it says purchase extras let's do that we'll touch here Okay, these are the enhanced diagnostics that are available for purchase from OBD Fusion. Now, right here under Nissan Infinity, it says you have one vehicle supported by these add-ons. So let's touch that. And here is a list of Nissan and Infinity add-ons. As you can see for 2012, I've got the blue check mark because I've already purchased these. So to purchase the enhanced diagnostics, we simply select it. And then the price on the right-hand side is $13.99. We will touch that and touch it again to buy it. Now, in my case here, I've already purchased it for the 2012, so we're good to go. Touch back, and back, and back again. OBD Fusion wants to scan the car's network to find out which modules are available. So we'll say yes. And it will go through scanning for all of the supported PIDs. And as you can see, it found 353. However, what we need to do now is to go in and scan each module and to do that we can go to vehicle editor and then we will go to view networks and here we can see for example for the engine control module it has not been scanned and we need to do that but before we do that we're going to back up here and under enhanced network see where it says select and it says prompt we're going to touch prompt and this is how we control which modules we want to connect to every time we connect to the car's network I really recommend we leave it here on prompt. It allows us to easily switch between modules, as you'll see in a second. So we'll come back here, and I'll just come right back to the beginning. I'm going to disconnect, and now reconnect. And now I'm going to select the engine control module and connect. We're getting a warning here. We'll say yes. This is giving us a warning. We're going to go to a elevated diagnostic session. That's fine. We'll say yes to continue. And now it's going to scan for supported enhanced PIDs for this module. We'll say yes. Okay, the ECM module has been scanned. Now let's just go to Vehicle Editor and see how many we have. Then we touch View Networks. And here we can see we've got 227 supported parameters. If we touch the I, we get our list of the supported PIDs. And it is a long list. And I'm not going to go any further. We're just still at the ease. So we'll touch back. Now we've got other modules we need to do as well. So for example, we're going to go back and do the anti-lock brake system. So we're going to touch back and back. And we're going to say disconnect and connect. And pick the anti-lock brake system and touch connect. Say yes. And yes. Let's have a look and see where we're at. So if we go back to Vehicle Editor and View Networks, and we can see we've got 65 supported parameters for the anti-lock brake. Let's have a quick look at some of those. Ooh, look at that, a deacceleration G sensor. That's interesting. Okay, so we'll touch back. The next module we are going to do is the sound navigation and ranging. So I wanna show you something here. I may have done this before. We're going to touch disconnect and connect again to get this prompt and touch sound navigation and ranging and touch connect. 
We'll say yes. And yes. So sometimes you may have a module, but there aren't any PIDs associated with it, which was the example here. Because now if we go back to Vehicle Editor and touch View Networks, we can see zero supported parameters. Now let's view some interesting enhanced diagnostic PIDs. So we will touch Connect, and we will specify our Engine Control module and Connect. We'll say yes and yes. Okay, let's now go to Diagnostics. We're in the PID value section. We're going to go to Menu and select PIDs. Under Nissan Common Infinity, these are our enhanced PIDs. Let's go to the Engine Control Module, and I'm just going to do a search on Temp. Okay, so I want to have a look at the coolant temperature, engine oil temperature, we'll do fuel temperature, air intake temperature, and that's good. So we'll touch done, and we'll touch back. And there we are. We're now looking at coolant temperature of 26 degrees, engine oil temperature of the same, fuel temperature of 24, and our air intake temperature sensor 42. All right, let's wrap up this episode. With OBD Fusion's enhanced diagnostic add-on, you now have access to a lot more information. And this can be very useful when troubleshooting a problem or when doing maintenance. Keep in mind, different vehicles will have different modules and different PIDs. All this for about $15. Not bad.